Welcome to Dude RV. Man, I sure appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. We're gonna take a look at an all new camping cooler bag from Booge RV. Let me get things set up and we'll take a look at this camping cooler bag. Be right back. See Trudy back there? I'll be working on her later on. That'll be another video. Right now, I'm getting popular. People keep asking me to review stuff. Let me be very selective. Bouge RV reached out to me. I don't, if you're not familiar with that brand, they sell some pretty cool stuff for RVers on Amazon. But Bouge RV reached out to me. Asked, asked me if I'd be interested and willing to review a soft side ice chest. I have plenty of ice chests, as most of us RVers actually do. But I have one in particular that I carry with me on my little boat, but I'm thinking it's too small. And so I've been considering getting a little bit larger, a little taller. And when Bouge RV said, hey, check this out, would you be interested? I said, that's exactly what I've been looking for. It showed up in this box the other day. Now, I am an Amazon affiliate, and I'm going to provide you with a link in the description below. And if you take advantage of that link, I earn a little bit of revenue that helps support the channel. doesn't affect your cost at all. So, let's get to it. So, Booze RV sent me this camping cooler bag. It actually came wrapped in this, this plastic, but I took it out of plastic. But, well, now that's taller than what I've been using. Hold on, I should have pulled that out. So we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. So this is the igloo that I've been, been carrying with me. I like it because it's plastic. Uh, I can use it as a toolbox as, and as an ice chest. I was thinking this was going to be a little larger, but it's actually about the same capacity. So I don't know about that. But anyway, when Yappy saw it, she said, oh, you're not putting that on the boat. <laughs> she, that's, that's too nice for you to put on the boat. All right. So I think Yappy's laid claim to it. It has... A, now the pictures on Amazon show fishing rods stuck in there. I don't think I'll ever stick fishing rods in there. But you got some loop hangers. You got several pockets. Hold on, need two hands. So we have several pockets. This is a nice pocket on the side. Put napkins and other stuff in there. Have a mesh pocket on the back. We have bungee straps on the top, so if you're like you're headed down to the beach or something, you can put your towel in there, put your umbrella. Now this is, it does have a zipper. It is a zippered opening. And that's actually one of the things we're gonna be testing is how watertight is the zipper. So when you when you receive it, it includes zipper lubricant. So make sure you put your zipper lubricant on this, otherwise it's very difficult to open. So this video is gonna run over, uh, we're gonna take probably two days. It's Saturday morning, about 10 o'clock. High, high temperature today is expected to be mid 90s. It's actually not going to be too bad a day for late August in Texas, but it's going to be pretty hot. So I'm going to put this to a real world test. I'm going to put some bottles of water and I'm going to put some ice in here and I'm going to leave it in the back of the truck for 24 hours. And we're going to see if that ice, because it says it'll hold ice for 24 hours. So we're going to find out if it actually holds ice for 24 hours. And then tomorrow we're going to play around with it. We're going to see how waterproof that zipper is. I got a couple things in mind, so I'll be back tomorrow. But meanwhile, you can watch me put ice in this thing. I 
got to have water. Got to stay hydrated. That's 18 bottles of water stuck in there upright. I could probably put I could probably put a full 24 in there if I were to to lay them down. That's a lot of water for me to drink. So naturally, my neighbor has to fire up his weed eater. Ten pounds of ice. I'm trying to talk to you about this camper cooling bag and and my neighbor just he's got to weed eat his yard. I respect that. So we'll be back tomorrow to check out this this camping cooler bag. We're back 24 hours later. Oh, I forgot to unlock the, the back of the truck so we can check on our experiment. One of the things I really like about my Ford trucks, this keypad. So I don't, I don't have to have my keys or the fob to open the door. I can come out here and punch in my code. And you may not know this, but when you punch in your unlock code, if you press the one, That'll unlock all the doors. So you, you punch in your, your personal code and then hit one. All the doors unlock. Punch in your personal code, press two, and that will unlock the tailgate. Just so you know, a little, little tidbit. So interesting, while we're waiting on the tailgate to go down, we went looking for uh, a couple, we went shoe shopping yesterday and went to Academy. And while we were walking around Academy, we saw, you know, we walked back to the ice chest and camping stuff. And I was looking at one of those real uh, well-known brand name ice chest that was exactly the same as this camping cooler bag, the Bouge RV. Exactly the same product for $200, whereas this is for right at $100. If you're, if you're using Amazon Prime, it is less than $100. So let's get this open and see, actually, see if the, the ice actually lasted for 24 hours. <laughs> I don't see any ice. It's still cold. Still very cold. Still super cold, but uh, it looks like the ice has been melted for, for a while. Uh, uh, you know, granted, it was 100 degrees yesterday and it was in the back of the topper, so it was probably like 130 degrees in there. 
Something else that we want to investigate is, is this water, truly waterproof. I don't see any water coming out. One of the things that I was I was wondering about is how how tough is this? Really? Let's say you you've loaded up your 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 pig up. You didn't get the the tailgate latched solid. Uh, you hit a big bump and it falls down. Well, the zipper held. Keep in mind that has that 10 pound, that 10 pounds of ice. So that means there's 10 pounds of water. And then I put a case of water, almost a case, 19 bottles of water. So just short of a case of water in there. So uh, we're probably, we have 20 pounds of weight or so in it. What if we did it the long way? I need to give you the, the, the perspective on that. So we have we have a little little bit of leakage now, right there. We have some leakage. So that resealed the zipper so so the impact kind of opened up the zippers in a couple of places not fail the zipper didn't fail it just kind of opened up enough to leak well now that i've unzipped and re-zipped no more leak that's pretty impressive We need to get need to get one more opinion on this. Yappy, I need you in the kitchen. Please come in here. I gotta ask you some questions. Dealing with Ziva. Well, that's a that's an ongoing thing. All right, so we're talking about the the camping cooler bag that Bujarvi sent us, and I've just I've just dropped it off the tailgate several times, so we don't need to do the drop test here in the kitchen. But tell everybody what your thoughts are. Well, at first, I mean, it looks like some other brands that are a lot more expensive, and I was really excited to see what it might do, and it went 24 hours, and the water is still cold in the bottles. Now, the ice wasn't, is not um, still there, but it was evidently on the back of the truck, and it's hotter than, you know what, in Texas right now, and it held up really quite well. I'm really excited for this. I could see this you know, taking this to work and things or running around when I'm showing houses and things and having a cooler that, you know, keeps it all cold. Including the grocery store since we kind of live away, kind of a little far away from the grocery store. So is it okay if I, if I start strapping that on the bobber of the boat and, and, and taking it fishing and putting old smelly fish in there? No, you can't you do that. You can take your old cooler for that. All right, well, that brings us to the end of our our review, product review of the, the camping cooler bag from Bouge RV. It's available on Amazon. 
It's under a hundred dollars. It's a really good buy for for this. Comparables link, were over three hundred. The link is in the description below. Yes, we are Amazon affiliates. We do earn a little bit of revenue off of each every time you click that link, but that goes to support the channel, and, and we really appreciate that. Thank y'all. All right. So if this is your first visit to Dude RV, we'd really be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. We're so deeply honored. And I guess for my patrons, you guys rock. All right. So y'all come back now, you hear?